Hey guys, welcome to a new video. This is Max from Server 133. Hope you all having a good time and enjoying your server drama. Well, drama never ends. Ebony is meant to be enjoyed only if there is drama. If there is no drama happening on the world chat, it is just an ordinary game. But if there is drama happening, you have something to read. And definitely somebody will fill you up with more information. So guys, I hope you are enjoying the drama. And let's get on to the video. Now, finally, after struggling really, really hard, I could manage to get 300 pieces of the Faber Ag fragment. Faberg, F A B E R G B E R G Faberg. It doesn't matter. It's, you understand what I'm talking about. So these are a lot of the treasures, and I luckily got this piece of fragment now let's talk about this lovely fragment so guys at the civilization equipment this is where uh, you find this at your wonder okay this is the wonder you find something called a civilization equipment where these new equipments will be unlocking soon you can definitely go and check now the next set would be uh, the boots and the leg armor you can see these now just above this there is civilization treasure a lot of you people might be thinking what is a civilization treasure so let's unlock the first civilization treasure on my account so to unlock the level one of each civilization treasure you can see level one written over here to unlock the level one of the civilization treasure you need to have 300 pieces of the kind so basically if i am planning to unlock this Crusiger Globus Crusiger I may be pronouncing it wrong but you guys can read it so please bear it bear with it so Globus Crusiger is something that uh, if you have it it activates in city troop attack by 2% in city troop defense by 4% in city troop HP by 4% siege machine attack minus 5% which is a debuff and healing speed plus 3% so if you activate this, it will increase your healing speed by 3%. Imperial Seal. Attacking Mounted Troops and Ground Troops defense plus 6%. Attacking Siege Machine and Range Troop defense plus 6%. March Size Capacity plus 3%. Enemy Ground Troop attack minus 5%. So if you have it, these buffs will be activated on your account. Used to activate Subordinate City Training Speed 1.4%. Fair enough. 7 branch sword owned to activate attacking troops attack 2% marching troops defense plus 3% marching troops HP plus 2% training capacity plus 2% uh, used to activate training speed plus 2% okay Feberg egg owned to activate all troops load plus 12% uh, attacking mounted troops and ground troops attack plus 4% attacking siege machine and range troops attack plus 3% gather level 5 or above resource pots gives you a chance to get pansy egg let's see what is a pansy egg later gathering speed plus 4% code of Hammurabi H-A-M-M-U-R-A-V-R Hammurabi Hammurabi okay I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly own to activate hospital capacity plus 4%, attacking mounted troops and ground troops HP plus 4%, attacking range troop and siege machine HP plus 6%, enemy mounted troop attack minus 5%. Again, this is something related to PvP. And I'm just 3 piece short for it. Can you guys see this 3 piece short? Research speed plus 2.4%. Ooh, I wish I had this. I, I was planning to do a lot of research on my account. Damn, so close. Okay. I, this is going to be difficult to pronounce. Tutank Hamun. Tungtakamun. Damn, this sounds like some. Uh, I don't know, man. Tungtakamun dagger. Anyway, so the Tut dagger. We're going to call it as the Tut dagger. T U T. The Tut dagger. Alright. Own to activate troops attack on monsters plus 3%. Troops defense on monsters plus 6%. Troops HP on monster plus 5%. Enemy range troop attack minus 5%. Ooh, this gives you a debuff. Very nice. 
March speed to monsters plus 10 percent this this is good mask of uh, aga agami non memnon agamemnon i don't know if i'm pronouncing it correctly but anyways mask of agamemnon enemy troops attack minus two percent hey this is good enemy troop defense minus two percent very good enemy troop hp minus two percent the dead turning wounded rate of troops when they're attacking plus two percent uh, construction speed plus 2.4 percent very nice i wish i get another 18 piece of this soon because now the resource consuming is coming and i'll be doing a lot of construction so let's unlock the fabric rag so as i've got 301 out of 300 pieces i'm gonna unlock it Woohoo! that's it okay let's see what happens to what do you require to upgrade this so to uh, oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh so to upgrade this you need 650 pieces and i guess to upgrade to the third level i i hope there is a third level will be required more but anyways i think i should settle for only <laughs> level 1 right now okay now let's see what happens when i use it use okay so apparently i can only equip one of these at a time where do i see it being equipped do i see it being equipped somewhere i don't think i see it equipped being here somewhere active skill no i don't know how is this working give me a minute guys. so i pressed the video and i searched for the subcoordinates basically i searched for the player and i found the subcoordinates anyways he's a big keep so i have to be careful in case if he loses bubble i can get a bubble rush yeah anyways back to the video why is it loading so long nice So coming to the civilization treasure without having this let me see what is my uh troop load right now with the general amir timur i missed a couple of viking rallies i didn't i will join them in time okay so last time I remember when I checked my uh, troop load with Amir Temur and Siege Machines without uh, math size buff. So the number of troops have not reduced at any point. So that's the Amir Temur. The D14, uh, 650, 668. Okay, so my troop load has been increased by a certain amount which was supposed to be 650. Now it is 668. So that's 18 million has increased. So as per the civilization treasure, the egg, it increased my troop load by 12%. Now let's see how does the activating the egg work. Okay. So I am going to just send my march to gathering for a while. Oh, there is a tile just in front of me. The march is going. Why do these guys want to rally when I'm making a video normally these guys don't rally and when i'm making a video they are rallying <laughs> okay so now as i can see my gathering speed here is we are looking at this one okay we are not we actually need to look both of them so it's two 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 hundred thousand per hour and the gathering speed is one million one hundred and seventeen thousand five forty eight i'm just going to take a screenshot of this one 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 seven five four eight i'm just gonna type it to somebody yep one 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 seven five four eight i hope this is the number 
let's have a look 1117548 okay now i'm going to activate the egg and see if the 4% is how much difference it is remember this is a baby tile so the base gathering itself is less but let's see does it really benefit or not equipped come on tell me it has benefited because then you know i can gather tiles yep so the one 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 five changed to one one two six that's only the difference of eleven thousand resource per hour but this is a baby tile if this would be a big tile that would not be a huge difference but again four percent difference is the difference if you are leaving a a march in the alliance style for a very long time it it may not look like a big difference to you but then you know whatever improves your thing it's always better but here's the thing guys with all these uh, civilization buffs that you have uh, it's important that you keep equipping them as you plan it's like basically using the monarch gear one of them gives you a construction buff one of them gives you the research buff one of them gives you the subordinate city troop training buff one of them gives you the training buff so it's very important to understand which one to pick when and on basis of that it will you know help you grow faster so before i conclude the video let's take three minutes and understand which all of these uh, civilization treasures give you what benefit so let's have a look very quickly civilization treasure the first one gives you healing speed it's basically like equipping this over here for healing speed the same way over there you have to equip it to increase the healing speed so the first one is the globus uh, crucigur if you equip this it increases your healing speed and as you get it it also increases your other buffs even if you equip them or not the imperial seal will increase the subordinate city training speed by 1.4 percent when you equip it the seven branch sword will increase your training speed by two percent the Egg will increase your gathering speed by 4% which you guys just saw. The Hammurabi code of Hammurabi will increase your research speed by 2.4%. Uh, the Tut's Dagger will increase your march speed to monsters by 10%. And the Mask will increase your construction speed by 2.4%. But remember, to get all these buffs, you will have to activate them. So, you'll have to use them, you'll have to activate them to get all these benefits. Again, as there is nothing else, I'll just keep this, you know, activated on my account. If it gives me any bonus, I'm happy. And you can also upgrade this when you get the rest of the fragments. So if I'm upgrading it to level three, sorry, level two, that should happen at least in the next six months or maybe, maybe uh, <laughs> next year. But then I hope it happens soon. And all of you, thank you so much for joining me. In case of any questions, you know where to find me. You go to the friends, go to the recommended, type my name like this and tap the search button. You'll be able to see me. Then you can add me. Very simple as that. And you can also write me a mail from here, which is so smooth. So guys, don't hesitate. Get in touch with me. I can, I'll definitely respond to your questions. Sometimes it becomes late sometimes my friends are playing so they'll not even bother to respond because that is the clause do not respond to my emails so guys again everybody thank you so much for tuning in this is max from so 133 signing out i will see you next time